guys what the heck is up welcome back to my channel was it accidentally a month since i've uploaded absolutely has the last month been absolutely crazy in the world in my personal life just it's 2020 would we expect anything less the answer is no, but I just wanted to come on and do a quick unedited video because I just want this to be real and I feel like I owe this to you guys. However, before we get any further into this video, I do just want to mention everything going on in the world. There's so many things that are just heartbreaking and that I cannot believe are still issues in 2020 that we need to continue to fight for. Um, I didn't feel comfortable posting content for a while. Um, and it's still kind of hard, but I do think that we need to continue um, to support the Black Life Movement. Um, there's famines going on. There's just so, so many things. So I'm going to link some stuff down below for you guys. Continue to sign petitions. Watch videos if you can't donate. Educate yourself. Just do everything that you can as a person to better your knowledge and the people around you to make everyone equal because... It's important um, and should not be an issue in 2020 and it sadly is and we need to continue to support the change that is needed in this country simple as that I'm gonna link some stuff down below uh, please check it out please like I said continue to educate yourself everything like that and uh, from one topic to another you know by the title of this video exactly what I'm going to be talking about I don't have too too much to say Outside of, I lost my ferret almost a month ago at this point, which is just crazy. It has been that long. If you guys don't know, I'm sure you do because she's the freaking star of this channel. I had a ferret for almost nine years. Her name was Daisy and she is the sweetest little baby in the entire world. And she just made my family's life so much better. I got Daisy when I was going through a really, really hard time my senior year of high school. And how we got her, literally, I'm not kidding you, played out so perfectly. And I just know that she was put into my life to help me, not only through that time, but so many other things. And I am so grateful for all of the time I got with her. Um, we chose to put her to sleep and the vets agreed that that was the best decision. Um, ferrets are very immune to sickness and although she lived such a long life with, without it uh, she got a disease and it starts at their gland and then they start to lose their hair and their muscles start to weaken and uh, there's not too much you can do for it there's a surgery but anything with ferrets is just so risky because they're so little uh, and she's just so old for the surgery there was just a lot um, and it just came to the point where her quality of life 100% was not there. It wasn't the ferret that we knew. She wouldn't run for hours. She would run for 10 minutes and then just get comfy in a blanket and sleep. And we just, it was time. Um, and that's that. And it sucked. And it still does suck. But I felt like I owed you that because I get so many comments on her videos daily and people asking me about her and things like that so that is what happened daisy will no longer obviously be in any of my videos um i am forever grateful for how much you guys loved her we loved her so much and i love knowing how many other people loved her as well uh, I know that there's going to be a couple questions. The first thing I want to address, because I noticed now that she's gone, my tolerance for hate comments on videos involving her. It went from like, I could handle anything to like, I'm sensitive about everything, which I feel like is natural. But when I filmed a lot of those ferret videos, I was a little kid. I was like freshly 18 or 19, honestly. And I, one, never expected any of my videos to get a million views so I I just didn't expect anything to get that much feedback and when it started to get that and people were like coming at me I didn't know how to handle it because I was just a kid and that's that and I get so many hate comments of oh you're doing this wrong or you're doing that wrong and obviously I see every single comment and I look I change things for example like the bathing and Everything like that was obviously updated when I was told I was doing it wrong, but I was 18 and in the video I don't think people like that. I was like sassy and defensive when that's not really how I ever meant to come off um, It's just when people Would be like oh my gosh, you're so fat and ugly. 
your ferret should die. Like, it's not... Obviously, like, at 19, I'm going to get defensive. So, kind of just wanted to explain that. Um, and I'm sorry if I came off in a way that people didn't like or, like, I'd, anything like that that I didn't want the best for Daisy because that's not what it was at all. And, um... Yeah, so there is updated things, and I, I hope that everyone continues to watch her videos and give her all of the love that she deserves. Um, I know another question that I will get is, am I going to get another ferret? And at this time, no. Will I have another ferret in my lifetime? A hundred percent. Numerous ones. I love them. They are the best animals in the entire world. They make me so happy. I am just at a place where I'm planning on moving out, and when I took care of my ferret, my mom was here and she helped take care of the ferret and my mom works at home so Daisy always had someone with her for the most part. Uh, my dad, if my mom did have to go into work, my dad is always home by like 1pm from his job so there was always somebody here with her. If I lived without my parents, there would not be, which would not be fair to the ferret. It also would be in an apartment setting which wouldn't usually go over well. And on top of that, I travel a lot and it's just hard to find somebody to watch a ferret. And so there's just too many things right now that lean towards not owning a pet. I have my family dog, obviously, but at this time I will not be getting another ferret. In the future, I will be. And I think that's it. Um, I just wanted to come on and let you guys know what's going on, what happened. I just feel like I owed that to you and uh, I'm going to get back to normal content. I just didn't feel like it was the right thing to do until I came on and addressed this because it's a huge part of my life and my channel and I miss you guys a lot. There's a lot going on, as I said, in my personal life, in the world, just everywhere right now and it's really, really overwhelming and I don't know how I feel and yeah, so that's it. I love you guys. Thank you for supporting me always. Um, I will see you guys soon for another freaking video. Good.